In this video, I'm going to show you how to use On One Effects 2019 as a plugin application with Adobe Photoshop. So to get started with sending a photo from Photoshop into On One Effects, make sure that you have the layer selected that you want to open inside of Effects. Keep in mind that whatever layer you have selected is the one that you're going to send over. So if you do have multiple layers here, whatever one that's selected is the one that's going to go over, not all of the layers entirely. So just keep that in mind. You could always merge these layers together if you have multiple layers, and then you could work on that image as a whole. So I have this layer selected that I want to send into effects, and there's two different ways that I can do that. The first way would be to leave this layer as it is and send it into on one effects. However, if I make any adjustments or add any filters or modifications and send it back into Photoshop, I won't be able to go back and readjust any of those settings I applied in effects. So what I recommend doing is right clicking, converting it to a smart object. And now if you send this layer into on one effects, you'll be able to go back and readjust any of those settings once you've saved it and brought it back into Photoshop. So whether you choose to leave this layer as it is or convert it to a smart object, there's also two ways that you can send it into effects. The first way is to head up to File, go down to Automate, and then head down to On One Effects Standalone 2019. Or you could head up to Filter, On One, On One Effects Standalone 2019. So now it's opened up our photo inside of Effects, and let's just add a filter and a local adjustment so that I can show you that you can go back and re-edit now that you've made it a smart object. So let's just add a filter here, and I'm just gonna add dynamic contrast. And let's go in and make a local adjustment layer, and I'll just make it so that it reveals some shadows. I'll just brush this on this area over here. I'll pull back on the opacity quite a bit to make it look more realistic. So now that you've made any modifications or adjustments inside of effects, you can head down to Done, where it saved those changes and took us back into Photoshop. Now you'll notice we have those filters applied here. We can turn them off and on. And if we want to readjust any of those settings we applied inside of effects, we can just double click on this where it will send us right back into effects where we can readjust or modify any of those settings we had applied earlier. So that's how to use On One Effects 2019 as a plugin with Adobe Photoshop. I'm Dylan with On One and thanks for watching.